Hundreds of excavators are busy digging in what is the first open pit mine of its kind in Pakistan. The fresh earth is loaded on the back of these trucks and driven away. Engineers expect to reach the coal buried at a depth of 150 meters in the next couple of months. Despite reservations about the quality of this lignite coal, those working here disagree. Lignite reserves in Pakistan are the seventh largest reserve in the world. And our lignite is as good as present in China, in uh, Germany, or in India, or Australia. We can easily produce very good uh, uh, quantity of uh, electricity. According to the survey carried out by the Geological Survey of Pakistan and the United States Agency for International Development, the Tarparkar district of Sin, which is mostly desert, has 175 billion tons of coal. They say it is capable of producing enough electricity for the next 200 years. What you see behind me is just the tip of the iceberg. The vast reserves of coal lying under this desert could produce electricity to last 200 years. For years, this region has made headlines for all the wrong reasons. There are shortages because of prolonged drought and famine, and high mortality rate among children. But now this project is promising to bring about change in people's lives. Just a few months ago, Ramesh Rano says he did not know how to ride a bicycle. Now he's driving a dump truck after a special training. This coal mine has brought a new life to us as we were jobless and have nothing to do earlier. But with this project, majority of our people were trained and employed, who now earn enough money to look after their families and kids' health and education. However, not everyone here is happy about the impact of this new project and complain their concerns have not been addressed. We're very much concerned about the graveyards of our forefathers, mosques and temples which will also be affected by this coal mine and have raised our voice against harming them. The project manager says the coal mine will bring huge benefits to the people of this area who have been neglected for decades. Health, the most neglected aspect, is being looked after. The education is uh, the focus. Uh, then is the livelihood and the entrepreneurship. Then is the, uh, the futuristic uh, growth opportunities for the people. And fifth, which is uh, the last but not the least, is the preservation of the local culture, traditions and uh, the face of Tha. Many countries have been relying on coal-fired plants to address the bulk of their energy needs for years. And while most are now working to reduce their reliance on coal, Pakistan is bucking the trend as it realizes the potential of its as yet untapped natural resources. Kamal Haider Al Jazeera, Tarparkar Sindh.